Hey guys, what's going on and welcome to today's video for Legends of Runeterra. Uh, today we are going to be going over a classic deck for today's deck tech. We are going to be looking at Shen Fiora, a deck that's been around pretty much since the beta. Uh, it's been slowly evolving, picking up a buff every here and, and there, also picking up a nerf every now and again. And also getting a new card or two pretty much every single new set release. So we're going to look at this deck because it is a very good staple if you are looking for both a good deck for ladder, uh, just to have in your tool set of decks to bring for ladder, and a really good deck to bring for tournaments because of how tournaments are structured. So let's take a look at the deck. All right, so like I said earlier, I believe I said this earlier. If I didn't, then uh, whatever, ignore that. Uh, but this deck has recently fallen off in popularity, and the reason is not because it has gotten nerfed or anything, or anything's happened. This deck has actually not been nerfed in a while. Uh, the reason this deck has fallen off in popularity is because of big meta shifts. This deck wants to prey on decks where deny is good. Basically think something like um, control that uses a big spell, like uh, feel the rush. Uh, also with Go Hard being gone and this deck kind of being good against Go Hard, thanks to Nopify, the deck gets a little worse and worse, but since Go Hard's also not a thing, at least it's not popular anymore, we can now play things like Fleet Feather as well, which is nice. So it's a trade-off. Now, if you've, uh, if you're newer to the game or somehow you've just never seen or just don't know how to play Shen Fiora, uh, it's a deck I like to describe as easy to learn, hard to master. On paper, it looks very simple. You just play a unit and then play another unit next turn and then keep playing units on curve and attacking in and doing damage and winning and maybe playing a spell every now and again. The problem is when you uh, need to bluff, basically. For example, on let's say you play something on turn one, whether it's a Green Glade Caretaker or a Fleet Feather or whatever. And then on turn two, let's say you also have a Bright Steel. Some players would just immediately play Bright Steel to develop more units on board. A lot of players, though, will also not play Bright Steel because they would rather bank that two mana that Bright Steel would have been used, Bright Steel Protector specifically, and bank that as spell mana so they can bluff things like Single Combat, Nopify, and Sharp Sight. Even if you don't have those cards in your hand, Obviously, your opponent doesn't know that, but they will still probably play around that because things like a sharp sight or a single combat can create a big problem for your opponent. And that's where uh, the skill in this deck comes from, in my opinion. Uh, the decks you want to go against with this deck are, again, like I said earlier, Feel the Rush, which doesn't exist anymore, but also Scouts. This deck, in theory, destroys Scouts because uh, Scouts doesn't really have a good way of popping barriers, and thanks to the Challenger from Fiora and Screeching Dragon and any other Challengers you feel like running, uh, you can pick off their problematic cards, namely Misfortune, and just pick apart their stuff so their Grand Plaza won't even matter too much. Now, the, another reason, like I said earlier, uh, about why this deck is bad is a l there's been a big shift in the meta, and Hush is very popular right now. Hush is really decent against this deck. Hushing uh, whatever just to get rid of a barrier. Hushing Green Glade to remove a lot of stuff. Just really strong. You can also tech this deck too. Uh, the deck is not that bad against uh, Zoe Lee Sin. In fact, I would honestly say it's slightly favored. You could tech it to be even more favored against Zoe Lee Sin by adding things like Relentless Pursuit to make it more aggressive. I don't like Relentless Pursuit, my, in my honest opinion, in the current meta, but it's pretty good. Uh, so what is this deck weak against though? Like this, just, you just never want to see. Uh, first off, you really just don't want to see something like Zoe, Aurelia, and Soul. That deck will kind of beat you up because Zoe is a little difficult to deal with. Thanks, yeah, sure you have Sharp Sight, but if they have a turn one Zoe, they're usually going to get at least one hit in. And then after that, they'll probably play around Sharp Side as long as you keep two spell mana up. And then you have Fiora to kill uh, Zoe as well. 
But then you can't really beat their late game because the Rallying Soul is like pretty much one of the best late game plans you can have. Which is why we play things like Cythria and Bright Seal Formation to close out the game before a Rallion Soul can really get a stranglehold on the game and level up and just create so much value you can't keep up. Uh, well, enough talking about how the deck plays and what the matchups are. Let's go through the deck itself and look at all the cards and why we have the cards that we have in this deck. Uh, first up, we have one Fleet Feather Tracker. This is really here just so I can have a fourth one drop to get on the board early. Uh, you can cut more cards in the late game for another Fleet Feather. I wouldn't run three. I'd say two is the best number at the mo at most. That is a very bad sentence in English, by the way. That is not what I meant to say. I would say two is the maximum amount of Fleet Feathers you would want. That is a better way to describe it. I personally only like one because I like to have my Fiora Shen deck go a little later. Uh, three Green Glade Caretakers because this card is just nuts. Uh, it really just puts on a lot of pressure against your opponent. Uh, barrier is so easy to give in this deck, thanks to both Bright Steel and Shen and the barrier spells themselves. Uh, three nope or three blight. Uh, bleh. English is hard. I'm sorry. Three Bright Steel protectors. Uh, card is just great. Uh, even if you don't have anything to buff, you can still just play it as a two mana three two, which you will do sometimes when your hand is really bad, aka you didn't get a one drop and you're against something like Fearsome Aggro and you really need to get on the board quickly, so you play Bright Seal just a two mana three two. Uh, pretty nice as well against um any Plaza deck, pretty much. You can, they play a unit while they have Plaza out, giving it its challenger and its buff. You play Bright Steel, sure they can kill the Bright Seal, but you can use the Bright Seal Protector to protect something like uh, Fiora or a River Shaper or whatever. Just an overall great card. And plus, if Shen levels up, it's also a buff, too. Uh, next up, two Nopifies. Um, You might honestly cut this down to one and put in another Deny. Maybe not play any Nopifies at all. Really, it comes down to you and your decision on the Nopify and Deny numbers, but still, just a really good counter spell. Two mana uh, to stop a three or less spell. Very, very nice. Uh, three Sharp Sights. I think you should be playing three Sharp Sights. You can't cut them at all, in my opinion because Zoe is so popular and it's just a really good combat trick. Uh, Ezreal is also really popular too in the form of Ezreal Draven, so it's also pulling double duty there. Uh, you even see a little bit of like Teemo Sejuani, Teemo Burn, so it helps out against Teemo decks as well. Uh, next card, single combat. Not much to talk about here. Everyone knows what single combat does pretty much. Uh, everyone knows it's a good card. One of the most played cards in Demacia because it's just so efficient. Two mana just to have two things fight each other. Uh, the versatility of this card is great. You can use it to save a unit that's about to die from another unit. Uh, use it to pop barriers at the worst. Use it to just get another kill for Fiora to get a Fiora win. Great overall, overall around card for any Demacia deck. So, of course, we're going to run three of them. Then we have Fiora. Most of the time, she's just going to be a 3-mana three 3-3 three, three challenger that uh, lets us threaten repost because it's her champ spell. Uh, I'd say maybe one out of every five or six games, you're probably going to get a Fiora win from her killing four things. Uh, it doesn't happen too much because we're not really playing too many ways to protect Fiora. Sure, there are the barriers and stuff, but... Again, like I said, she's mostly just here to hold a Shen support barrier or um, kill a problematic card like Zoe. And then after that, we have three River Shapers. River Shaper does, pulls double duty. One is it's a three drop, so in case we don't draw a Fiora on three, and it helps us refill our hand. Some matchups actually turn into a kind of a protect the River Shaper game, where if River Shaper can draw you multiple spells, you'll just win. River Shaper into Shen to attack with is just really strong. Uh, you also have some cute plays you can do by using single combat in response to a kill spell on River Shaper to quote unquote cycle the single combat out for another spell. Uh, and thanks to things like Concerted Strike, you could also get more, more spells because of the strikes uh, that way. So just a very good card overall. Uh, you should definitely be running three of these in any Shen Fjord deck in my opinion. Uh, two denies, we kind of talked about this earlier with the Nopifies. Just a solid, solid spell. 
pretty much the main reason you play Shed and Fiora. I only have two copies right now because I'm not the biggest fan of the third copy of Deny over Nopify. I don't think three Nopifies or three Denies and two of the other thing is correct. I think you should only run four counter spells. So I'm doing a two-two split, two Denies, two Nopifies. You could do three Denies, one Nopify, three Nopifies, one Deny, but I like the 2-2 two -two split as is. Uh, next up, we got Repost. The classic barrier spell here. Um, just a really good card here. Let's you trade up and kill big stuff, big earth stuff than your uh, units can normally handle on their own. Uh, also gives barrier, of course, so it helps protect your units. Uh, just a really good spell overall. I only have two because I'm also running Spirit's Refuge. We'll talk more about that later. Uh, next up, Shen. Can't go down below uh, three in all honesty. You had to play three Shens, same as you had to play three Fioras. The curve of Shen, or sorry, the curve of Fiora into Shen is just really strong. Sometimes you might not curve out exactly turn three Fiora, turn four Shen, because you'll want to hold up four mana to bluff, deny, or repost. So you might be playing Shen on turn five instead. Uh, still though, really good card. Not that hard to level up, and his champ spell is not even that bad. This champ spell is actually kind of decent. It's just extremely expensive is the problem. But burst speed saves it from being too bad. Uh, next up, Spirit's Refuge. Um, pretty much just taking up more slots that could be reposed here. But at the moment, I like the lifesteal that it gives because there are a number of people playing burn again for some reason. And while I said Scouts is a good matchup for you, it helps in case you messed up and you took a little too much extra damage somehow. So you might want to gain a little life. It's just nice. And there aren't too many things like Fearsome where I would like uh, the plus three from Repose at the moment. So I'm doing a 2-2 split of two Repose, two Spirit's Refuge. Some people play um, two Relentless Pursuits over the Spirit Refuge. I would rather not make the deck that aggro. I'd rather play the Spirit's Refuge. That's just my personal opinion, though. Of course, lots of tech spots, lots of uh, ways you can build this deck. Next up, two Concerted Strikes. Pretty much just here as more single combats, but it's uh, really nice with Fiora, really nice with River Shaper. Just a very solid card overall. Fairly expensive, kind of bad against Deny decks, but it's fine. You still will play this because this card is just so good. Uh, only two, though. Three gets a little clunky and you might brick too much. So only two for now. Uh, next up, Screeching Dragon. Screeching Dragon is a good backup plan in case you don't have um, Fioras and it's just more units. One way you can lose with Shen Fiora is you just have your one or two units on the board get killed and then you just have a handful of spells. So you do need to run a certain amount of units and Screeching Dragon is also really good. There are other units you could run like I believe it's Laurent Chevalier. I think that's the four mana Laurent that when it strikes you get a random challenger. Some people play that as a one of as a fourth river shaper sort of. There's also the Laurent that's a three mana two four challenger that people sometimes run. I'm also not a fan of that, but some people like it. And then we have three Sithrias. Uh, some people like to run Genevieve. I don't like Genevieve or Genevieve or however you want to pronounce her name. I just prefer three Scythrias, nothing crazy, not trying to do anything special here. Just slam Scythria on six, attack in with your board, whatever it is, and get a bunch of damage in. And then we have two Bright Seals to close out the game. I prefer two. Some people only play one. I like two because it really makes it really likely to draw at least one by turn nine. But I think three would be too many and it would you would draw one Bright Seal formation if you had three way too many times too early, if that makes sense. Anyway, though, with that all said and done, uh, let's get into a couple of games so we can see how this deck plays. Okay, welcome to match one. A match I don't want to play, in all honesty. Uh, Zoe versus Aurelian Soul, like I said earlier, is kind of a bad matchup. Pretty much because of Zoe early on and because Hush is a three of. Uh, as for Mulligans, look for a one drop. Look for uh, a three drop. There you go. And you're golden. Um, this is not the kind of hand you want. 
You do, okay, that helps. That helps a lot. You really would rather have a hand full of, okay, that's nice. They don't have Zoe on one or else they want to bluff uh, Sharp Sight. Okay, this is good. This is good. I have a Fleet Feather here. If they want to trade, I'm fine with that. Okay, those couple of draws. Oh, I'm very happy with this. These couple of draws really helped out the hand. Now, I could either play Fiora here or I could play River Shaper here. I feel like my opponent is probably going to try and develop a Grand Plaza, so I would like to just get River Shaper going now. As the three damage from Fiora doesn't really mean anything. They're just going to play a Mountain Goat, it seems. That's annoying. I could offer a trade here, but I don't want to because they have two mana open, which means Pale Cascade mana is a thing. A little frustrating. Now, though, if they attack in, I will block. I like this block. Uh, if they play Pale Cascade, I have both Sharp Sight and Spear's Refuge. They don't want to do anything. And now I'll just play Fiora. I am starting to run out of gas, though, I'll be honest with you. We're seeing one of the main problems of Shen Fiora, and that is you just run out of cards. Specifically units. I have Scythria, and that's really it. I really need to draw something like a Shen, or I'm assuming they're looking for either Meteor Shower or Comet here. I really need to find either a Shen or maybe a Screeching Dragon here. Preferably Shen, so I can hold up the 9 mana. Um, well, I'm not going to play that and into an attack. I'll just open attack like this. If they Pale Cascade me here, though... I think... I'm going to just play Sharp Sight. And then there's the Hush. Welcome to the whole reason why this deck is strong. Now, this is a problem. I am going to play Refuge here, but I feel like they might have a second Hush. Okay, good. And now I get to bank this two spell mana again, which I... I will not do for now. I'm not going to play Scythria this turn, though. I'm going to go double Caretaker here. I don't want to play Scythria. I want to hold up Deny every single turn now. I think I have to hold up Deny every single turn now because of that Comet or Meteor Shower, whatever it is. This guy is passing with nine mana up. That is terrifying. That means either they probably have things like Star Shaping, the Celestial Spell, which is probably Comet, or... A bunch of Aurelian Souls. Now here I can just play Scythria. Screeching Dragon's not bad either, but I kind of just like... Honestly, I kind of like uh, Screeching Dragon a little bit more here. This way I get to hold up a Concerted Strike as well instead of just holding up Deny. Here though, if my opponent passes again... The strength of the sun hmm. and my faith are one. That's a little annoying. I could just trade my Screeching Dragon here, which is what I'm thinking. Strike quickly, strike deftly. If they try to buff up the Screeching Dragon, I will Concerted Strike this. I kind of hope they do try to buff it up. Um, In case they have Single Combat or... Well, they don't have any of it. I was going to say in case of Single Combat or Concerted Strike, I was ready for that as well. But yeah, we are not in a good spot. We did not draw a Shen. This deck kind of really would love to draw a Shen prior to now. Another uh, another Fiora is not bad. So this is definitely a upcoming... Uh, what's it called? Definitely an upcoming... Um, Aurelian Soul. So here... I can basically say, do I want to play around single combat by playing Concerted Strike? I will not play around single combat. I won't block, though. I won't safety block. I think it's fine if I take seven. I think I have to do this to get a big open attack in, and I have to hope they just don't have single combat. 
And they had single combat. Ugh. At least they were killing Fiora and not Scythria, though. I guess that's the good news. So I can hit him for 10, which isn't bad. Never mind, they have a spacey sketcher. This guy has really got in a great mid game, and my mid game was a little lackluster, and now they have Equinox. Oh, yeah. This is. This is not good. This is a game over, in all honesty. I have to hope to top deck, um, not Deny. Deny was pretty much the exact opposite of what I wanted to top deck. But yes, as you can see here, this is one of the reasons why this is such a bad matchup. Deny doesn't do much here. This guy has Aurelian Soul in hand. He's just going to play Aurelian Soul. Equinox on Cythria is just a nightmare. And now we're going to probably lose to Aurelian Soul. Yep. Now, I do have a large board. I might be able to race a bit. I will have to take 10, though. I have to hope they try to do something like a Supernova. Because I really need to make use of these denies. I also really need to draw something good. That is good, too. That's a really good draw. But again, I, I really, really need them to supernova me. I hope by playing Shen, that baits them into supernovaing me. Okay, just gem. I assume this is like a gem pass here. Yep, just gem pass. Here you go, opponent. Look at that supernova value. I feel like, though... They might just play um, one of the big Celestials, whichever one. Oh, no, they did. They went for the Supernova. Oh, I am so actually lucky that they went for the Supernova here. If they did not go for that Supernova, I would have been actually decimated and destroyed. And now here, I actually kind of win. I don't think I can lose from here with this Deny Hand. The only way they could stop this is maybe a Judgment. Um, so I'll attack like this. And then I'll use uh, Fiora to tie up Aurelian Soul. And I don't really see how they stop this. This is what? 15 damage coming in? Yeah, I was going to say Judgment is their one out. But I have Deny. So we should be fine. Single Combat's annoying. But Single Combat can't get rid of enough damage. Yes, that's... I still deal 9. So, I won, and I won this matchup. But again, this was a tough matchup. As you saw, lots of problems here. Only one because Deny carried us. You fought with honor. Okay. Uh, from a meta deck to a meme deck. Um, I don't really think I'm favored in this matchup, in all honesty. Uh, Yasuo Katarina. I will keep Fleet Feather and Shen. I don't really want Sharp Sight in this matchup. Um, I would like to find... Okay, Caretaker is also good. I would like to find um, either a River Shaper or a Fiora. I'm going to start with Fleet Feather into Caretaker. I think that is a really good turn one, turn two play. I don't get a bank two mana this way, but it's fine. If they do nothing here, I might actually just play a second Caretaker. Just really go very aggro on them. Think you're fast? You're that is annoying, but... These woods protect their I'll own. attack in with these two Caretakers, though. Intruders. It's annoying, but... Whatever. I have to just hope they don't have a turn 4 Yasuo. I think if they have turn 4 Yasuo... Turn 3 Katarina is a little annoying, but not that annoying. I should be fine. Concerted strike. That's fine. Turn three, Katarina. I was worried about this. This is good. The fact that they are not, um, they're not using a uh, blade's edge first is nice. I could have chumped Katarina with a one one, but I want to force them to use the blade's edge itself. I don't mind all this damage. I want to force that Blade's Edge out and kill my 2-1. Uh, because now it's threatening their Fae Blade Twirler. And now I can just develop Shen and go to town with Shen. And now because we have two Shens, we also get his uh, Champ Spell, Stand United. Which will 
help us push in a lot of damage. I wish I had this last turn, but it's fine. I think I'm just going to play Shen here. Start buffing the caretakers. I think it's just really a good idea right now. Again, like I said earlier, I really hope they don't have Yasuo. Seems they don't. Apprehend. Not a card I was expecting. I don't know why they're playing this when Guile is a card that you could play. Guile is literally just the same card, but one mana less in a non-Darius deck. Greenplay duo. Okay, I have no idea what they're playing. Their deck is weird. I feel like they're going to just attack in and play Katarina. I could just play Sharp Sight here to block this. Very, uh... Nice play. I could just take the seven itself, which is also something I think I'll just do. I think I'll just gonna take this damage, play River Shaper, put it on them. If they play Katarina this turn, that's way too much of a mana dump, if you will. Now here, I can do like Sharp Sight block take five. Block like this. This will recall Katarina, though. So I would have to play single combat here. Or I could just chump. I think I will just chump here, though. I kind of like just chumping here. I am starting to get aggroed out. But here is why... This is one of the reasons why we have multiple spirit refuges. So we can take all this damage develop a board like this and just win here i'm gonna protect my river shaper over protecting the caretaker they could block um shen here if they block shen here i am probably gonna maybe single combat with my river shaper on this seven two see these moves up close steel tempest I don't know why they're so scared to take face damage, but I'll try this. This will draw me two spells here. This is really good. I was going to say, if they had Nopify, I might deny it, but I probably don't want to deny Nopify. I think I want to deny Deny when I try to play a big spell like Concerted Strike or something. And here they can't play Yasuo. If they play Yasuo, I get to Concerted Strike. That is... Annoying, but I will not. I could single combat that. Trade off my River Shaper for that. I won't. Uh, again, not a problem. This is a little annoying, though. I would like to exchange something here. I think what I'll do is play Concerted Strike in response to Dragon's Protection. Or to kill Katarina. I might even just trade off Shen, in all honesty. He's only a 3-1 right now. Young Witch is definitely not something I was expecting, though. Um, This is fine so far. I assume we'll just attack in. Well, because of this... I think I'm just going to play, like, I'm going to sharp sight up here my Shen, because it kind of heals him for one if this goes off. And then I think I'm going to Strike, we will reform. do this. We walk between realms. Nature blesses her followers. I just realized, like, Currents pull them down. Yeah, there we go. I just realized it doesn't mean I can block with Shen. Oops. A gift from the river but I like this block. I like this, though. Protect it gives me another spell if they had nothing and they didn't seem to have nothing. If they try to play Katarina, which they Never. will... I honestly wasn't expecting that. Um, I really wasn't expecting that. I think because of that play, I'm going to just suicide in... This, my Green Glade Caretaker, I really don't... If they get to attack in with Katarina and the Katarina recall happens and buff Blade Twirler, I don't have a good block for Blade Twirler. 
I have to be a little bit careful of my health total. And now you're going to see the problem of Shen Fiora. We're starting... Okay, that's fine. If I take three from this, that's more than fine. So they are running Guile, too. I'm going to assume that, that the, uh, the Apprehend we saw earlier is just like the fourth Guile. Yeah, this is fine. Three damage, whatever. And now I get to level up Shen, which it's not amazing, but it'll work. Hopefully I draw a unit. That's a good one. But I don't know if I actually want to play her. I don't want to play her yet. I just want to open attack like this. Just to level up Shen first off. Shen, in theory, is protected from a block from our uh, fluffy tail friend over there, our blade twirler. And they're starting to run out of cards in hand. Here we can see a game where it's basically just turned into a uh, protect the river shaper, and river shaper is running away with the game. Now this might be a problem. Sleep is for the guiltless. I would like to play Concerted Strike to kill this, but I don't have Deny Mana, so I'm going to just pass here. I was going to say, if they play a stun, though, I will respond with a Concerted Strike. And this should draw me another card, thanks to uh, our River Shaper friend. I was expecting like either a sentry or another guile or maybe a concussive bomb. And now we get to... Uh... Okay, that's really good. I like that draw. Uh, I will... Depending on what they play here, that's a little annoying, but thankfully I have... Hmm, hold on. Let me think here. I want to have 12 mana instead of... Uh... I want to be able to play, uh, I have seven mana. I want seven spell mana because I want to play Concerted Strike and Sharp Sight. So I'm going to play Screeching Dragon here. It gives me the most options and spells over Scythria. If they attack me for one, I'm fine with that. This is fine. I will just, um, probably repost up something here. I could sharp sight. I'm actually gonna. I gotta play here. I know the play I'll do. I'm gonna sharp sight up my river shaper so I can get another spell. And I'm going to repost my dragon, I think. I think this is the play I like. I don't think they can pop a barrier. This is one of the reasons why we don't see uh, Yasuo. That and the fact that Yasuo was kind of a bad card. Now, I could just open attack here. Um, I won't. I'm just going to play Scythria. I don't have many options here, but I have Deny and I have Nopifies up. Iron Thorn. Now, that's something I wasn't expecting. Well, I guess I lose. Yeah, I've actually lost because of that. Oh, that's really bad. No, I have Deny. I have Deny mana. Yeah. Yeah, thanks to the deny, I'm fine. So I think I'll do like so I go. this. Hooking in this. But I don't really know how I'm going to stop this. Like I can deny the first decimate. I guess I have to top deck. I don't know what I top deck that saves me here. This does kill them. They have to do so. They can't block like this. Maybe they can't do math. Hee <laughs> hee. Okay, they have Steel Tempest. I really needed that to hit. Um, because actually, wait, 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 wait. Because they went for Steel Tempest, I can do this. I was gonna say maybe I can Concerted Strike to try to look for single combat. Oh my god, I actually won against Farron. I can't believe I actually won this game too. Never found those uh, spirit refuges though. And there you have it. That is two very classic, very typical Shen Fiora games. Play to the board in the mid game. Just use your board advantage. 
to close out a game, which is what we did. Second game, it was more of a River Shaper advantage of our opponent never actually able to deal with River Shaper. Uh, and yeah, as you saw in that game, in those two games, just a very powerful deck. Uh, bullies more Mimi stuff, and while it's bad in certain matchups, it can beat its bad matchups. It's not like an 80-20 kind of matchup like some decks are. Uh, for example, you saw we beat Zoe Aurelian Soul, which is in theory a bad matchup, thanks to things like Hush, in my opinion, it's a bad matchup. Uh, and because of uh, Grand Plaza. Now, granted, my opponent never drew Grand Plaza, so that definitely helped. But still, very solid deck. Uh, just a good deck to learn. The mechanics you will know and just the fundamentals you will learn from this deck will carry over to a lot of decks, such as uh, how to bluff, when to not play a card even though you can play it, and how to close out games in the late game. So, that's it for today's video and today's deck, which was Chen Fiora. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, of course, uh, please be sure to leave a like or a comment down below. Uh, if you guys are uh, also playing this deck and you got any uh, cool tech, any cool cards you've been trying out, I would love to hear it. I like to play this deck every now and again. It's not my favorite deck, but I like it every now and again. Sometimes you just feel like playing that just fun, deny nopify ionia e, demacia e. How many more words can I add here? Uh, that fun mid-range kind of deck. So I would love to hear more uh, more ways you can build the deck. Uh, also, if you want to catch me playing some more Rune Terror, you can always check me out at my Twitch TV account. Uh, it's, you can find me over at Twitch TV slash Zenitin pretty much uh, every single day I stream. Uh, also, um, if you want to keep up with the Rune Terror content, you, uh, please be sure to uh, subscribe to the channel, of course. Uh, anyway, though, with that all said and done, thank you all again once more for watching the video. And until I see you guys in the next one, uh, bye.